So I love making sequences on a modular. You can layer sequences, you can have baselines, you can have arpeggios. The thing about it is though, sequences always repeat. It, it basically becomes a loop. We did talk about making patterns in our sequences recently, and that sort of breaks it up from being just a straight eight or straight 16, but ultimately the pattern repeats as well. So today what I want to talk about is adding randomness to our sequence. Uh, the way we would do that is what we normally trigger a node on and off with is, is a gate. Gate goes to an envelope generator that triggers on a filter, triggers on an amplifier. And if we could have a gate that we could make random, that would be really cool. Now random uh, in a kind of a controlled manner. So let's take a look at random gates. Okay, so a source of random voltage that we have on a modular system is our noise. We normally use noise as a sound source, so it would sound like this. But what if we used it as a control voltage? Well, what if I plug it right into an envelope generator? What do we get? Okay, so it's, it's still so random that it's not really usable. However, if we took the noise and ran it into our sample and hold, and, and we typically have a sample hold module. The sample and hold will sample that noise on every time it's clocked. And if we clock it from the clock coming from the sequencer, then that means that every time the sequencer hits a clock, we're going to sample that noise and it's going to give us an output. So if we take the output of the sample and hold and we run it to the comparator, we would get something like this. Now I'm going to turn on a sequence. So the top voice is just playing the, the eight beat sequence. The bottom voice is being triggered by the noise going into the sample and hold, sample and hold going into the comparator. Now, why are we going into the comparator? Well, I can adjust how random or how sparse or how thick the uh, gates are. So if I turn it up higher, we get a lot fewer gates. By the way, the pitch of that voice is being controlled by the second row on the sequencer. So we're controlling the pitch as well. And I went through each step and said, okay, these are intervals that are pleasing. Um, so it's not random notes. It's just random timing. If I turn this down, it hits more frequently. But it's random. Kind of sounds like a, a automatic pattern, but it's not. And then the further down we go, the more hits we get. Transpose it up. Have it stand out more. So random gate. We're taking noise, going through the sample and hold so that we take the gate and uh, fix it to the timing of the sequence. And then we take that through the comparator so that we can adjust how often the gate hits, whether we get uh, very few hits or whether we get more. And uh, you could actually run the sample and hold directly to the envelope generator. I didn't mention that, but uh, if we turn that on, works, but we don't have uh, quite as much adjustment to it. We can turn down the input level and have it hit le less often. So you can play with this. If you don't have the comparator, this is a, a, a way that you can play with it. Just noise, sample, and hold. You may even have the sample and hold plus plus, which has noise, sample, and hold built right into one module. I'm just using the older modules here. The way the comparator also has a, a mixer and a LFO and a VCA. That's a very cool module. Okay, so that was random gates. That's very cool. Love the way it adds an extra dimension to our sequence. 
Next time, I'm going to take a look at some applications for that random gate other than what we just did today. So be sure and stick around for that. Appreciate you guys coming around and watching. If you're getting anything from these videos, hit the like button, share it with your friends, all those good things, and we'll see you next time.